Birth parents just need some sleep. Hi, I'm Diana from Snag Baby and let's talk about visitors when you've just come home with your newborn baby. Everyone wants to come and see you when you come home with that baby. Well, let's be honest, they don't want to see you, they want to see the baby. But you need to sleep, you need to rest, you need to be able to bond with your baby, learn how to feed your baby, learn how to live with your baby, recover and have valuable time as your new extended family. So a nice idea is to space the visitors out. If people come uninvited, you can put a little label like this on your window. Hello visitors, parents and baby doing well, but in need of sleep. So please don't knock on the door and wake us up. Let's catch up soon. And then you can put the name and the date of birth and baby's weight on there so people can see. Social media is also a great one. You can use social media for your advantage. Put up this information onto social media so people can see it and ask people not to just turn up, but to arrange a time for you to come up, for you to see them. It's good to space the visitors out. You don't want everyone just one after another. You will be exhausted. If close friends or relatives do come up to stay for longer periods of time, make sure they're useful. They're not just going to come up and sit in the chair and be expect to be waited upon. No, no, no. They're coming up to help you. Your new parents, your job is to look after yourselves and the baby. They need to help to look after you. Bring meals, do the shopping, do the cleaning, get them to work. Most parents are brilliant at coming along to help their own children when they've had babies. So make sure that's yours as well. So it's your baby, your rules. A new life with baby can be trying. Lack of sleep can leave you both crying. So visitors can wait until you feel great. You're delaying their visit, not denying. <laughs>